get into some applications, applications, it's Spanish for applications. Uh, here we're going to find the component form of a vector. So we need to find the component form of a vector. Remember component form means x, y. Uh, the represents the velocity of an airplane descending at a speed of 100 miles per hour at an angle of 45 degrees below the horizontal. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to draw a, tr a an airplane that is descending. So if it's descending, that means it's from your origin. We'll take the origin going down. This would be 45 degrees below the horizontal. Now it is also traveling at a speed of 100 miles per hour. So kind of slow, really. Um, we need to find your horizontal, or we need to find your component form. So if you remember your component form that we looked at way back here, your component form is all of this. Now we're, gonna, we're not going to write in terms of i and j, but notice what we're going to do is we're going to take our magnitude times our cosine. That's going to be your horizontal value. And then you're going to take your magnitude times your sine, which would be your vertical component. So if we take our magnitude, uh, and this, we'll just call it v, times the cosine of theta, <clears throat> and then our magnitude of v times our sine of theta, we will plug in our values then. So we'll say magnitude of v. Well, our magnitude is our speed. In this case, we're going 100 times the cosine. Now, your theta is not 45 degrees. Your theta is actually the distance all the way around. So this is 315 degrees. So we're going to say 100 times the cosine of 315, comma, your magnitude of 100 times the sine of 315 degrees. So this is a very important problem because when we start getting into more of the bearing problems, you're going to be doing more of these uh, component forms of vectors. So we can just plug these into our calculator. We can say 100 times the cosine of, oops, sorry, of 315. And that gives us a 70.7. .7. So you're going to have a 70.7. .7. And then you're going to have, if we plug in our 100 sine of theta, which is 315, you're going to get a negative 70.7. .7. So your component form of the vector that represents the airplane that is descending is a 70.7 .7 comma negative 70.7. .7. Now what that really means is you have this triangle that would be drawn on here that goes from here down and this would be a 70.7 .7 in your horizontal component and a negative 70.7 .7 with your vertical so even though it's not drawn to scale my apologies um, that is what the 70.7 .7 and the negative 70.7 .7 represent in terms of your component form of a vector